In the city of Champana, in the ancient Sultanate of Gujarat, a rhinoceros and her calf grazed peacefully in the palace gardens, while her keeper Osem watched from a distance. The Sultan Mufaza watched from the window of his palace. He was deep in thought about how to respond to the gifts the Portuguese Duke Albuquerque, Viceroy of Goa, had sent him. When the Sultan saw Ganda the baby rhino, his mind was made up. The road from Champana to Surat was rocky, hard and long. They arrived in the port of Surat, but their journey was not over yet. Some months later, they set sail for Goa, and Gander endured more long days in his swaying cage in the glare of the sun. Duke Albuquerque had been waiting impatiently for the arrival of the ship and was delighted to have his new pet roaming a specially prepared compound in his palace grounds. Still disturbed by the voyage, Gander took a while to recover his appetite, but once he found it, he grew at an alarming rate. The Duke soon realized this animal would eat through a fortune. Maybe Gander would be better off living in King Manuel of Portugal's legendary menagerie. Such a rare gift would greatly increase his status with the king. So once more Gander and Osem found themselves aboard a ship. 
this time a Portuguese galleon bound for Lisbon. The journey was long and the nights grew colder as the ship sailed westward, with Gander chained in the dark below decks. Gander and Osem emerged into bright sunlight as the ship nosed into Lisbon Harbour, where crowds waited to get a glimpse of the magnificent rhinoceros. Manuel, King of Portugal, was delighted by his new gift and the excitement Gander had created amongst his subjects. Gander was installed in the king's menagerie and news of the beast spread far and wide. In his library, King Manuel came across an ancient book by Pliny called Natural History. The book suggested the elephant and the rhinoceros were bitter enemies. He decided to test Pliny's theory and declared a public holiday so all of Lisbon could enjoy the spectacle of the great battle between his rhinoceros and an elephant. The animals were led into the arena. The crowd hushed. Elephant and rhinoceros stopped and stared at each other. Gander stood perfectly still, sniffing the air. The elephant trembled, lowered his great head, and turned tail and fled. Bored now with his disappointing star turn, Manuel had a brainwave. Maybe the Pope would appreciate this marvellous but ravenous gift. Once again, Osem and Gander found themselves on a Portuguese ship, this time bound for Rome. Their journey took them past Marseille, where crowds appeared to catch a glimpse of the now famous rhinoceros. But after Marseille, calm seas and fair weather gave way to a violent storm. The sailors raced to bring down the sails, but too late. The mast sheared off, the ship listed steeply and began its descent to the seabed. For Gander, the roar ceased, and he drifted down into the still and silent depths, and into history. Amongst the onlookers who had watched Gander arrive in Lisbon 
was one Valentin Fernandez, a Moravian printer who wrote a description of the rhinoceros which was published in a newsletter in far distant Nuremberg, hometown of master engraver Albrecht Dürer, who made his famous print based on it.